good morning i am devasena in this lecture we are going to discuss about sensor node hardware components in detail we are going to discuss about the functional block diagram of a sensor node sensor node hardware components a sensor node is made up of four basic components namely sensing unit processing unit transceiver unit and a power unit it also has application dependent additional components such as a location finding system a power generator and a mobilizer sensing unit the sensing units are usually composed of two sub units sensors and analog to digital converters that is adc the analog signals produced by the sensors are converted to digital signals by the adc and then fed into the processing unit the processing unit the processing unit is generally associated with a small storage unit and it can manage the procedures that make the sensor node collaborate with other nodes to carry out the assigned sensing tasks the transmission unit the transmission unit connects the node to the network the power unit the power unit is one of the most important components of a sensor node power units can be supported by a power scavenging unit such as solar cells the other sub units of the node are application dependent operation of a sensor node in order for a wireless sensor network to operate properly the sensor nodes require an operating system a routing protocol and a simulator functional block diagram of a sensor node is shown below modular design approach provides a flexible and versatile platform to address the needs of a wide variety of applications depending on the sensors to be deployed the signal conditioning block can be reprogrammed or replaced this allows for a wide variety of different sensors to be used with the wireless sensing node the radio link may be swapped out as required for given applications wireless range requirement and the need for bidirectional communications using flash memory the remote nodes acquire data on command from a base station or by an event sensed by one or more inputs to the node moreover the embedded firmware can be upgraded through the wireless network in the field the microcontroller has a number of functions as listed below managing data collection from the sensors performing power management functions interfacing the sensor data to the physical radio layer managing the radio network protocol a key aspect of any wireless sensing node is to minimize the power consumed by the system usually the radio subsystem requires the largest amount of power therefore data is sent over the radio network only when it is required an algorithm is to be loaded into the node to determine when to send data 
based on the sensed event. Furthermore, it is important to minimize the power consumed by the sensor itself. Therefore, the hardware should be designed to allow the microcontroller to judicially control power to the radio, sensor and sensor signal conditioner. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates, kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.